is for a hopper. Now, the problem with any fabrication like this is being able to, uh, you really want to design something to start off with that, again, is a single part. It makes, li it makes life easier. You can design the single part, perhaps do a drawing of it, send it off to the customer, get the okay from the customer, then you can go ahead and do the fabrication. Um, now, with this, of course, uh, it would make, it would and definitely is easier to start off with a single part, but then, of course, we have to break this up into the separate parts for fabrication afterwards. And again, I'm going to show you how to do this in Inventor using multi-body solids. Okay, so here's my hopper. I've just modelled it as an extrusion and a loft. That's all I've got. Uh, I could actually extrude with a draft angle on, but most of the time with hoppers, you've got a you know the start or the throat profile, the waist profile. Um, it's easier to do a loft between the two. So I've got a single solid here. No solid, one solid body in there at the moment. I haven't broken it up into solids yet or multi-bodies yet, this is just a single solid. I could do a drawing of this, send it off to the customer, get them to OK it, then I can carry on from there. So what are we going to do to this? Well, we need to break this up. Um, I'm going to do this in two ways. The bottom piece here, the chute, uh, is going to be fabricated from steel. Uh, it's going to be folded and welded. And the hopper at the top is going to have four plates welded together at the junctions of the two of the four plates. So what I'm going to do now is use the split command. Now, up until now in Inventor, you've probably used the split command to cut a piece of a solid away or to score faces because you may want to put a decal on a particular area on a face or something like that. We now have a third option, which is to actually split the solid into more than one piece. So if I just select the plane going through the middle here, OK on that. That will now convert this into two separate bodies. Instead of cutting a piece away, it's actually cut it into two separate bodies. So that is the hopper, and that is the chute. So two separate bodies. These can be colored separately, should you wish. We just go to the properties and change them for the, the coloring in there and so on. So we've now got two separate bodies. Okay, let's go ahead and shell this, um, top and bottom, open, thickness of 5 mil. Uh, I need to shell it again, actually. Yeah, let's shell it twice. Now, I'll just turn off the visibility of that one and we'll just shell this one first. Five millimeters. Okay. Turn on the visibility of the chute and shell that one. Five millimeters as well. Because they are separate solid bodies, we will treat them as separate parts in a way. Okay, let's put the visibility of both on. So there we go. Right. Now the sheet metal part, I'm going to leave alone. The chute, I'm going to leave alone. We're going to push that out as an assembly in a minute and make that into sheet metal. But what I want to do in here with the, uh, with the hopper is I'm going to use the thicken offset command to create new parts. Because from this, I want four separate parts. I don't want the, the hopper into, into a single component here. I actually want four separate plates that I can push out to weld. So what I do here is go to thicken offset. I'm going to select a face, and I'm going to offset it, and oops, let's do that again. Do 
another way. Okay. Right, so let's get these two out to an assembly. So what we do now is we go to our Manage, Make Components, select the components and push them out to an assembly again as we did before. Again, it gives us a preview of the components that are being created and the template that's going to be used. And I'll push this out as an assembly. Okay, of separate parts. So what we can do now is we can work on our shoot. So if I open this up in a separate window, these are separate parts now, they're assembled together. And in this, I'm going to convert it to sheet metal. I'm going to go into my defaults and tell it what the thickness was. I think I shelled it by five millimeters. I'm going to add some bends. Otherwise, we won't be able to unfold it. But on the fourth bend, on the fourth corner, I'm actually going to use the corner seam with the rip command to rip this. So we've got that shape. Now what I can do here is sketch on this face, draw myself up some geometry. I would normally um, project this line here as well to get a distance between my flange that's going to be my, my wrapped flange that's wrapping around here, just to put a very small distance on there. Finish the sketch. We use the contour flange and send this along. We've now got a sheet metal part, which of course we can flat pattern, save this, back to my assembly, that's the shoot done. Okay, so now, the four panels on the hopper. What I'm going to do now is create myself a panel, I'll just call this left hand panel, or panel number one will do. Um, I don't necessarily want to do a 2D sketch in this instance, so I'm just going to select the XY plane of the assembly and finish that sketch. And now I'm going to use a tool that is extremely useful in Inventor called Copy Object. And I'm going to copy a single face from this chute as a surface. Turn off the visibility of the hopper. Now that I've got this surface, I can extrude it. Sorry, thicken it by five millimeters in the correct direction. And there's my single part created that is associative to the hopper. Return out of that. Just put the hopper back on again because we need to see that for the next one. Again, create a new component. This one's P2. Select the XY plane, finish the sketch. We don't need that anymore. Copy object, copy the face on the shoot. Turn the visibility off, sorry, of the hopper. Turn the visibility of the hopper off again. That gives me a surface. Again, I can thicken this by five millimeters in the correct direction, which is outwards. And I'm slowly building up from the hopper my panels. Return. And as you can see, it's building up now in here. There's the chute that came across from the part file initially. And we've got our panels. But we're building up slowly on the top here from the hopper. I'll just do one more. Pick any plane just to get a sketch to start off with, but finish that sketch. This is the important one. Use copy object. I just want to take the face off of here. That's all I want. Just turn the visibility of the hopper off to see what I'm doing. Then use thicken offset. Thicken. And just because we got a few more minutes, I'll just finish this off. And as you can see, we've got everything there ready. So the sizes are correct for actually welding this together. So last but not least, we turn out of that. Put the visibility of the hopper on again. Create ourselves our last part, P4. 
Any plane, finish the sketch, copy object. We just want the face. You can take the whole body if you want to as a surface. I only want a face. Turn off visibility to the hopper so we can see what we're doing. And then thicken this in the right direction, outwards. And there you go. That's the hopper finished or based on an original part file or an original design, um, which I did a little bit of work to to get, um, to get some thickness to this, to shell it, to use the correct faces um, for making my final design. Um, I've only just broken this up into two pieces. That's all I need to do here. I started off with just a solid, with, which wasn't even hollowed out for design purposes um, or review purposes with the customer. But this is still my master part. This part drives this assembly. And this assembly contains the chute, which I modified in sheet metal um, from the original part file. But the hopper, which was a, which is a single body that came through or a single part that was pushed through, I've actually taken that and modeled four extra plates on it. So the hopper is not required now. So it would be a good, it would be advantageous in the bill of materials to actually take that and change the bill of materials structure to, um, a reference so that, uh, just say this. So it doesn't get included in the bill of materials. Change it to reference. It doesn't get. Uh, it doesn't go through to the bill of materials, so that it doesn't. All we see in here are just the parts required: the chute and the four panels for the hopper. But the actual, um, the, the actual um, hopper part, the one with the four walls that came through from the single part file to start off with, is not in my bill of materials. That's taken out. So there we go. That's the end of that uh, webcast. Um, thank you very much for attending. Um, we normally run webcasts every Wednesday, every Friday at about half past 11. We will send emails out on the next one. Um, many coming through, so please um, look out um, on your emails for future webcasts. Enjoy now weekend, leaving. And thank you very much for your time. Now leaving. Dave Bailey.